Hey everyone. In this video, my goal is to walk through the terms of simulation-driven design, generative design, and topology optimization. A lot of the times these terms can be a little confusing and can be used inconsistently, so I just wanted to dive a little deeper into those. And then at the end of the video, I'll talk through some of the Altair products and how they aid in these processes. Okay, so let's start with simulation-driven design. And basically, this isn't a new concept to the industry, but the basic definition is that you're using simulation results to aid in the design process. So essentially, users are running simulation while still in the design stage. So if we look at a traditional linear design cycle, you'd start with the design stage and develop your design, typically in a CAD tool. And then once you feel your design is ready, you'd move it into that testing phase, which is where the simulation happens. Then once the testing is complete, sent back to the design stage to make those changes based on the simulation results. Then it goes back to the testing stage and that cycle can happen many times and then physical prototyping happens before it's passed along to the final manufacturing stage. Now, if we look at how simulation driven design changes this, the idea is to bring the simulation process into the design stage. Then designers can run quick simulations and adjust their design on the fly and testing can start as soon as the model is created. And this process saves a ton of time in the design and testing cycle before it's passed along to manufacturing. Okay, so let's look at generative design next. With generative design, it's basically where designers use AI and machine learning algorithms to create many different designs based on certain input parameters. So if we look at this cycle in a similar way, we start before the design stage in that ideation stage. And in here, designers can bring basic context for what they want their design to accomplish and any design tribal knowledge they have. Then input that into the generative design tool, design parameters, loads, dimensions, all of that can be included here and different variations of the design are generated. And then the tools run simulation again, based on the results of each design, it's passed back to use that data to optimize the design before finally getting passed through to manufacturing. Now, this is a really simple explanation of what generative design is. In reality, it can be a lot more complicated, but you can see there are stages where the designer input are needed and the evaluation of the model using design experience is really critical. Okay, let's move on to topology optimization. Now, this one tends to be the most well-known of these three terms, but it does relate to the other terms, so it's worth defining it again. And topology optimization takes an existing design and it optimizes it to reduce mass or volume. And the goal is to make your part lighter or smaller and still maintain the design intent that you started with. Now the short term benefits are that you can create more innovative designs with optimal size, strength and material properties. Long term, it saves a lot of time and money, which is typically the end goal of most design improvement processes anyway. Okay, so we've looked at these terms separately, but how do they relate to each other? So if we go back to our design cycle, simulation-driven design would mean that the simulation is happening during this design stage, which leads to faster and more efficient designs. Generative design would help optimize the design stage by applying AI and machine learning algorithms to run a bunch of designs to help come up with the best one. And then topology optimization is taking a finished design and reducing its mass or volume while still maintaining that design intent. Then it's passed on to manufacturing. So hopefully this just helps clear up these terms specifically and how they kind of relate to each other and they make a little bit more sense. Now next I'm going to talk about some of the Altair tools in their portfolio and how they aid in these processes. One good thing is that Altair was named the overall leader from ABI Research for generative design software suppliers. I will include a link in that description so you can see a little bit more information on it. Let's start with Altair Hyperworks. This is the flagship product for Altair and it includes the Optistruct solver, which is a leader in the industry when it comes to topology optimization. So with that solver, you can run free size, shape, multi-material, topography optimization studies, and a lot more. And then Hyperwork also includes Altair Hyper Study, which is a powerful design exploration tool and it allows users to perform design of experiments to get simulation data on multiple design iterations very quickly. Okay, let's look at design AI. Now, the last few years, Altair has been investing a lot in AI-powered tools, and this one's a great one. Now, design AI is similar to HyperStudy, 
and that users can perform design exploration studies. The difference here is that Design AI is a cloud native app, so users can access it from anywhere, and it incorporates machine learning to get the most optimized design for your studies. Okay, Altair Inspire is the next tool on the list. And honestly, when it comes to the terms we talked about, this one is probably the most strongly related to all of those. Inspire includes the same OptiStruct solver as HyperWorks to run the optimization studies, but it also includes implicit modeling for simple lattice creation as well. Then users can run FEA and CFD studies on models that are created, and it's so easy to use that the learning curve is minimal and can assist every level of user in every stage of the process. Okay, so lastly, let's talk about SimSolid. Alter SimSolid is a meshless structural analysis tool that is ideal for early stage simulation testing. Users don't have to perform time-consuming tasks of mesh creation, geometry simplification. They can move right into setting up their study. And again, because it requires no mesh, it's ideal for large assemblies as well and can get you simulation results in minutes rather than hours. And then there's also a cloud-based version that you can run your analysis from anywhere. So I do hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or you want to learn more, visit www.trueinsight.io. Thank you.